So are you really committed? Like we, I know it's cute to say that, you know, we're committed to this, committed to that, but I don't really think that we have that commitment locked down into us. You feel me? So if you're really committed to something, whatever, even if that's a relationship to the team you're playing on, you're committed to a goal that you have. If you're really committed to it, the commitment doesn't really show until you hit that hard times you hit a struggle. So if if you're on a plane or if you're on a boat, if you're in a boat and you, you hit in a storm, right? You know, sometimes some people might, you know, turn around and say, let's go back. You know, if you're in an airplane, you catch a little turbulence, like, ah, let's try to land the plane and figure something else out. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't caught this plane right quick. If you're in a relationship with your girl or uh, ladies, you get in a relationship with your guy and you catch a little, I ain't talking about, you know, there's certain things that you just, you, you personally cannot, you know, come back from. But just because things are a little rocky, we ain't feeling each other right now. Are you still committed? Like, come on, now let's, let's really think through a commitment here. So you're not commit. You don't know how committed you really are until you hit a tough time, until you hit a pocket where you question yourself, until you have to really sit down and think, is this really what I want? So in business, you know, everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. Everybody wants to have the cute title, say, I'm a, I'm a boss, you know, I'm a, I work for myself, whatever. But are you willing to go through, you know, years of crap, years of being played, years of being, you know, slept on, whatever, whatever you have to go through? Are you, are you committed to go through that? Are you committed to, to working out and training and not seeing your results at first? I've been looking for a week, but I, man, I ain't seen nothing yet. I've been living for a month and I ain't seen nothing yet. I've been training for two months and I ain't seen nothing yet. But are you really committed to that goal that you said you're going after? You feel me? Like everybody wants to say, it's cute to say I'm, I'm grinding. It's cute to say I'm working. But that, that's one part of it. Like uh, I remember working out with my big bro, my homie. And, you know, we work out at the stadium. We used to go run at the track. And, you know, summertime, we see everybody out there. You know, you got older people, folks about our age, a little bit younger, whatever. Everybody out there during the summertime. It's you know, it's cool. Everybody got their shirts off, you know, you know, it got the little the, uh, band with the uh, the phone in there. It's cool. It's cool to be, you know, summertime flicks and summertime fine. All that good stuff. That's what's up. Do your thing. Yeah. Instagram pics, whatever. Facebook, whatever. It's cool. But that wintertime start here. Get a little cold. Then in the wintertime, it's fall. Folks kind of fall off a little bit. Just a little bit. You got to throw a long sleeve on now. I got to throw some sweatpants on now. I got to throw some tights on now. Hey. Since start dropping folks that's coming out there. Now, when it hits, that's the that's the real commitment right there. Even more folks falling off there. There's only a handful of people that we will see from the summertime still in there during the winter. Only a handful, not even including us. And so you really see who are committed to certain things when the tough times hit, when you get a little uncomfortable. Man, we've been fighting to go and at it, but I'm still committed to this girl in this relationship. Man, basketball ain't working right now. It's struggling. I ain't, I ain't my confidence all the way up, but I'm committed to really being a part of this thing. I know within myself that my end goal is still going to be my end goal. Everybody's not committed to it. It, so, it sounds cute to say I'm a part of this thing. It sounds good to say I'm going after this goal. I'm going after whatever. But it's a difference between going after something and being committed to something. You're disciplined with that thing. You're committed. Like you're it's, it's cool to say you're married. It's cool to be in a relationship. Are you really married to your goal? Are you married to the uh to the outcome? And a true sign of real commitment is when you're not tied to the outcome all the time. If you're too tied into the outcome, then when it doesn't happen or not happen the way exactly you saw it's going to be, you're more likely to fall off. When you're really committed to things, you're committed to the grind, the work, the middle ground. You feel me? So it's not the end goal that you're chasing. It's progress is the only goal is what you're chasing. You're chasing that next day. You're chasing the, the commitment of the consistency of going after that next thing. So are you really, like, think about it. Like, you really have to sit down and have the conversation with yourself about if you're committed to going after whatever you say you're going after. It's cool to be on a team, but are you committed to be on that team? You don't lose your first 10 games. Or when you get locked up, you ain't playing your game. So sit down and have the conversation with yourself and really think about it and be honest with yourself about if you're committed to it i appreciate it my five minutes up uh think about it man are you really committed like you say you are think about it